first of all we see in revelation chapter 12 all right the covenant yasharal after delivering the male child is carried away into the wilderness for time times and dividing of time or 1260 days and is nourished away from the face of the dragon 1 to 60 days or 3.5 years or 42 months or uh, 360 into 3.5 years which is 1 to 60 so all these are symbolisms which are used showing uh, the 1 to 60 days okay or uh, the midst of the week which is which we will term as the midst of the week because that's when the sacrifice and oblation is ceased okay so <clears throat> this background is necessary for us to understand where it all began and how it reflects clearly of yasharal in the wilderness journey and a typology to the end times journey so ezekiel in his counting and seeing in visions the esteem of yahua coming from the north north is where jerusalem is and it's evident that the esteem of yahua had departed from jerusalem the physical jerusalem during these wicked kings of yahuda's rules okay tridikya was ruling when he saw these visions and he himself was in the babylonian captivity as we saw during the 597 bc siege at jerusalem trying to say but what is more important and most important for us to understand is the timelines okay because unless we understand what this 1260129013358 is in a spiritual journey we will not be able to decode what daniel is told right about so ezekiel was told to lie on his left side for 390 days to bear the iniquity of yasharal for the symbolic 390 years as verse 6 says i have laid on you a day for a year and for yahuda to lie on the right side for 40 days which is a day for a year so 390 plus 40 is 430 years so keep this figure in mind so now we are talking about 430 years so in order for 70 sabbath years to be missed by yasharal you know being in the land so yasharal must have lived in the land of canaan without observing the sabbath year for total of 490 years how do we come to 490 years daniel's 490 years 70 into 7 an entire period when yahuwah forgives yasharal after taking them through the great tribulation so uh, we can see in leviticus chapter 26 verses 28 where it says then i shall walk contrary to you in wrath and i myself shall punish you seven times for your sins okay so yahuwah is telling yasharal that he would punish them seven times for their sins this is because only one year out of seven is a sabbath year and 490 total years divided by 7 is 70 sabbath years the exact time yahuda and few tribes which clung to yahuda from yasharal went into a 70 year captivity and daniel 70 weeks show us the end unto us who have never observed a sabbath year being in dispersion see how beautiful it is it's all connected right 490 years okay divided by 7 70 sabbath years because they did not keep 70 sabbath years while being in the land that's the reason they were captive taken captive of 70 years into captivity in, in babylon this brings us to the 1335 days blessedness spoken of daniel when the temple of our bodies is rededicated of having been found in him that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death i am impelled with mashiach yahusha galatians 220 nevertheless i live yet not i but mashiach lives in me in the life which i now live i live by belief in the son of elohim who loved me and gave himself for me and that is being found in him that blessedness of being found in him and that journey we see which abraham took it began with abraham when he was 75 years old a new journey all right towards a direction towards the day of yahusha he rejoiced all right when he saw my day yahusha said you know, so that is the end point right that's where we see 1260 which is the middle all right time time dividing of time that you know abraham seed all right who is uh, in mashia right, in the wilderness journey away from the face of the dragon 
all right being right so 25 plus 5 is 30 so if you add 1260 plus 30 you come to 1290 days when the abomination of desolation when ishmael is mocking or playing a sport or trying to lead the spiritual seed astray all right into the carnal shemitah so that is another picture that we see here. but will the uh, spiritual seed uh, you know go into the carnal shemitah for a time being some may have gone but their eyes will open if you are a true child of uh, yahusha your eyes will be open and you will come to that blessedness of one three three five days because you will come back to that covenant of abraham where it all started all right that's where we see where it all started the 430 into 3 okay where it all started and where the abomination of desolation takes place and in the middle of the week you come to a reset when you are fleeing from the face of the dragon now you have realized okay what i was doing was i was uh, you know in the dragon's kingdom now you are separated from there you have come out of those assemblies those carnal assemblies you have reset yourself into that 1260 days which is the middle of the week all right and you have now journeyed in abraham 75 you add 75 you come to 1335 days i hope all this makes sense these are all spiritual numbers beloved. there's no literal pointing you know saying that okay now only three years are left or 3.5 years are left these are all spiritual numbers decoded all right in the journey in the wilderness journey then abraham itshak yaakov all right who are the heirs of that same promise were in the promised land but did not see the promised land of canaan as the promised land but looked towards the heavenly country so seeing the day of Yahusha, the transition form of Yahuwah and transitioning into him, coming to that blessedness of 1335 days. And my prayer is that you too would come to that blessedness after you understand these deep hidden spiritual mysteries. I won't take much of your time. May Yahusha barak you. Hallelujah. Shalom Mashpakar.